Hey guys, welcome back. The Street Outlaws world is on fire right now, and if you've been following along, you know exactly why. Monza's infamous split bumper Camaro is back in the spotlight, and it's getting a massive transformation for 2024. We're talking about a whole new build that could redefine what we expect from street racing monsters. This isn't just some minor tweak, Monza's Camaro is going procharger, and the changes are huge. So, let's dive into the story of how one of the most feared machines on the street is making a jaw-dropping comeback. For those who've been following Street Outlaws for a while, Monza's Camaro is practically royalty. This car has a history like few others in the series. It's not just a car, it's a warrior that's been battle-tested and rebuilt over and over again. We've seen it dominate with a monstrous 632 cubic inch nitrous motor, tear up the streets with a 765 cubic inch big block, and unleash hell with the twin turbo 481x setup. Each version more terrifying than the last. But this new rebuild is going to be on a whole new level, Monza is ditching the twin turbo for a procharger setup. That's right. This is more than just a change of engine, it's a declaration of war. You're probably wondering why Monza's making such a bold move. After all, the twin turbo combo has been lethal on the street and the track. But the thing with Monza is, he's never satisfied. He's always looking for the edge, the one thing that'll make him faster, more competitive, and impossible to beat. And that's where the Procharger F4X 136 comes in, a blower that's been at the center of NPK, No Prep Kings, controversy for its sheer power. It's one of the most talked about components in the racing world right now. The F4X 136 can produce insane horsepower and, when paired with the right engine, turn a car into a high-speed juggernaut. Monza isn't just slapping on a Procharger and calling it a day. This build is a top-to-bottom overhaul. First off, he's putting the Camaro on a serious diet. We're talking titanium components, weight reduction everywhere, this car is shedding pounds like it's going out of style. And it doesn't stop there. The motor is getting moved back a few inches, which is a game changer for handling and balance. The goal? To make this Camaro not just faster in a straight line, but also deadlier in the turns and more stable at high speeds. This isn't just a street car anymore, it's an all-around predator. Now, here's the million dollar question, what engine will Monza pair with that Procharger? Nothing official yet, but the smart money's on a Hemi. Monza's been tight with Proline Racing, and if you've been paying attention, you know that a Hemi Procharger combo is the golden ticket in today's racing scene. It's got the power, the reliability, and the pedigree. Just think about it. A Hemi with a Procharger F4X 136 on top, that's a recipe for absolute carnage. It's the same setup that's been dominating in recent NPK events, and it's what's turning Monza's Camaro into a true beast. Now, Monza might not be competing in NPK right now, but that doesn't mean he's out of the game. Far from it. This new build is giving him options. He could take it to future no prep events, hit the street for some hardcore racing, or even go after some of the toughest grudge races out there. There's even talk that he might drop down to smaller tires and take on some true no prep events, bringing this monster back to its street racing roots. And with this Procharger setup, Monza's Camaro could be the most versatile machine out there, ready to dominate on any surface, in any condition. So, what does this all mean for us, the fans? It means buckle up. Monza's 2024 build is going to be something we'll be talking about for a long time. This is more than just another upgrade, it's a statement. A statement that Monza isn't done, that he's coming back stronger, faster, and more dangerous than ever. Whether we see him tearing up the streets or back in the NPK scene, one thing is for sure, when that split bumper Camaro rolls up, everyone's going to know that Monza means business. Alright guys, that's it for now. Make sure to hit that like button if you're as pumped as I am to see what Monza's cooking up. Leave a comment below, what do you think about the Procharger move? Is it the right call, or should he have stuck with twin turbos? And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on Monza's build and all the latest from the Street Outlaw scene. See you in the next one.